Well, thank you so much for staying with us. And again, thanks to Bull Country Compost uh, for sponsoring our show today. Well, we've had a couple people in asking about um, green sand and alfalfa meal. And um, they really weren't sure what these two products were for. Um, and they were wondering, you know, what they should use these these products for. So we're going to first start um, with green sand. Um, green sand is a great product. Again, um, these two products are both by Espoma. Um, and green sand is a great nutrient um, additive and an amendment to the soil. Um, it is really good to help your plant be able to take in nutrients in a more efficient way. So what you're going to want to do with the green sand um, is to mix it with your potting soil when you're doing your planting. Um, And it's really going to help your plant be able to pull in um, those minor nutrients like the iron um, and the potassium. It's going to really help your plant to be able to take in those things so it keeps really good color. And it's going to really help that plant throughout the season. Um, A lot of people old timers never use green sand it's very trendy now and it is it does have its purpose Um, so it is um, a nice additive to go ahead and add to um, your soil when you're doing your planting some people say can I add it later and you can do that later you can add it into your containers and then actually when you water it will seep down in through the soil but the most ideal thing to do is do it mix it in with your potting soil when you're doing your planting now for alfalfa meal alfalfa meal um, is very similar Um, it's really good for the soil um, but it is really going to aid um, in blooming also Um, even though it's not high in phosphorus it is going to aid in in the blooming of your plant so it's just very rich in nitrogen Um, it's going to keep that plant um, with a strong stem and very healthy foliage so the photosynthesis is going to take place on a a very good um, basis nice and even and the plant is going to be able to be strong enough to produce a good crop for you and hold that strong that fruit that's coming on it's going to help that stem uh, work out very very well for you now we had and we have this question all the time and so I wanted to let people know what we do because they're saying your hanging baskets look great we stop by in the fall you have great looking hanging baskets then well our great looking hanging baskets in the fall were started late just so you all know because we sell out of our hanging baskets our early ones and then we start ones later for all of you um, that can't keep them alive can't keep them doing well throughout the season we always start some later and have those into the fall and so that's why a lot of ours will look good late and but we do have some that you know might not sell color didn't match anybody's um you know idea that year and so we might have one that's late and they want to know how do you keep it looking good so so long and what i said earlier in the show about watering fertilizing those kind of things but when we start our hanging baskets we use a product again by Espoma. I think they should be sponsoring our show as much as we're talking about them today. But Espoma has a product called Biotone Plus and it is a great starter fertilizer and actually we use it in a lot of things. Um, We sprinkle it in when we're planting up containers for customers, um, when we do our transplanting from a our plug trays into something larger or if we have tomatoes and flats and we're going to move them up into a pot we always use the biotone plus it is a great starter fertilizer it also has extra strands of microbes in it that really helps the plant take root and so that is another product um, that we really love and that we use a lot is the biotone plus so if you come in and ask for biotone it's on the espoma rack right in the register area Um, great product um, really helps your plants get started and get a root system that is really really healthy and does really well 
Well, we wanted to tell you about some of the specials that we have going on this weekend. And also, if you have questions, over the weekend we're going to be really busy and we tell you how to ask, answer your, get your questions answered all the time. But especially this weekend, um, it's really going to be best if you go to our Facebook page, Anthony Petiti Organic Greenhouse, and um, ask your questions on the Facebook page in Messenger, or email me your questions at Cindy Petiti, C-I-N-D-Y-P-E-T-I-T-T-I at gmail.com. But if you can't and you have to have a question answered, um, you can call 330-455-5997. But the best way is just to come into the store. You might have to wait a few minutes um, because I might be with someone else. But the store is located at 5828 Columbus Road, right there on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway. We can answer your questions and then help you get everything that you need to have a successful garden um, with successful, wonderful, healthy, organic plants. Um, some of um, you have been asking about the sweet potato slips. They did come in um, actually last week, and I don't remember if I had talked about it or not. Um, so I wanted to let everyone know that sweet potato slips are in if you are growing sweet potatoes. Um, we're not talking about ornamental here. We're talking about the actual um, potato production one. Um, we have the O. Henry's, which is a white sweet potato, and the Georgia Jets, which is the orange pinky color um, sweet potato. So we have all of those in. Now we have um, some great Memorial Day specials going on. Um, Monique has uh, joined our team this year and she is extremely crafty. So she has painted up um, terracotta clay pots um, with a vintage flag look. Very, very talented girl this woman is. And uh, she has painted those up. And those are our specials for the weekend. Um, They are a vintage hand-painted Memorial Day pot planted with red, white, and blue flowers, of course. And we have those on special this weekend for $12.99. They range in a couple different sizes and shapes, but very, very unique. Um, And then also, um, we have all of our hanging baskets. Um, We have them not just in red, white, and blue, or just red or just white. We have all of our hanging baskets, um, big and beautiful, um, throughout the entire greenhouse, um, ready to go for this weekend. And um, We just have all of the vegetables that you're needing. Um, We want to make sure that um, you get the plants that you want. Um, If you're seeking a special tomato um, and you can't find it on the tables, make sure that you grab one of us. All of us will have our Anthony Petiti Organic Greenhouse t-shirts on this weekend. Um, So you'll be able to find us. If you can't see the front of us, uh, if you see a shirt that says, don't panic, it's organic, um, then you're going to know that um, that's a person that's going to be able to direct you to um, where you need to be um, for a specific thing. You know, if you need um, hot peppers or mild peppers, or if you're looking for okra or turnips, um, maybe eggplant or zucchini, um, we're going to be able to direct you um, to all of those places um, in the greenhouse. Um, and, and many of you are, um, you know, the, your first time gardeners. And we understand that. We just um, want you to ask your questions and be patient with us um, while we're answering other people's questions. But we will, um, you know, stand in the greenhouse with you and help you pick out plant material that is going to be easy for you to grow for your first garden. Um, We want you to be successful and we don't want you to overwhelm yourself. So, you know, um, if you are a first time gardener, we really suggest, you know, don't go out and and till up a half of an acre and think that you're going to plant that and and feed your family um, for the rest of the year with that. We want you to start off little and be successful and then we'll grow your garden together next year. um, uh, the the easiest thing to do um, is have a garden and you plant it all and you and you're not sure exactly what to do and you plant too closely and you get all of this stuff in the ground and then you're busy for two weeks and it's overwhelmed with weeds in two weeks and then you feel completely overwhelmed and you let everything go and you just don't do anything else with it and and we really don't want you to waste your money like that. Um, because you will have, you know, money in making these purchases and and planting all this work that you're going to do planting. So we want you to have a successful garden. 
So let us help you and walk you through doing a few things. You know, do only, um, you know, as many tomatoes um, as you really know you're going to use. You know, if you are planning on canning, then we want to make sure that we do a few more. Um, If you haven't ever grown tomatoes, well, let's only do a few and not plan on canning this year. Um, Let's just do it gradually so that you feel successful and that you're not um, completely overwhelmed. But if you do get overwhelmed, we do offer consultations. And so we can come to your home and... you know, by mid-June, if you are feeling overwhelmed already and you need a consultation, um, you need one of us to come out and help you. Maybe you need to thin out things. Um, maybe we need to check your soil again. We do offer that service. Or maybe you need um, a landscape design at that time. Uh, maybe you're you're redoing your landscape. I would love to sit, hear people say, oh, yeah, we're redoing our landscape and we're going to make it a total edible landscape. And we can help you do those kind of things. Um, but if you're not, um, my degree is in landscape construction and contracting. So I would love to help you just have a beautiful landscape, even if it doesn't include edibles. Um, we want to help you have that beautiful landscape. Um, depending on what kind of person you are. We're going to tailor that to you. We can do a sketch for you um, right there on site and help you walk, you know, walk you through it so that you'll be able to have that nice landscape. But if you are into gardening, um, into homesteading, we want to help you do all those kind of things as well and be successful at it. Um, again, if you have questions, please come out to the store this weekend, 5828 Columbus Road. We're right there on the corner of Columbus Road and Broadway. We have all the plants. Um, including vegetable plants, fruit trees, berry bushes, um, landscape plants, um, ornamental trees, um, mulch, topsoil, compost, um, all of those things that you're going to need for a beautiful garden and a beautiful landscape. Please stop in and see us this weekend. And thank you so much to all of our veterans for all they did for our freedoms. That's what this weekend is all about, is acknowledging our veterans and what they did for us. That's what Memorial Day, the ones that sacrificed it all so that we have our freedoms. We just thank them and we thank God for giving us them. And we just appreciate all of you listening to our show each week and coming out and supporting us at our local independent greenhouse. Thank you so much and have a blessed week.